So we are back with another episode of Techno Blub. With me is my co-host, and we have a very special guest in the building. Um, we're going to allow her to introduce herself and uh, take it away. Good day, some friends and grenadines. Um, this is Keisha Gully. I am the Consumer and Public Relations Manager at the NTRC. Today I'm just here to promote the NTRC's fifth annual I Square competition to inform you of what it's all about and any other details that you require, I hope I can bring it across to you today. Okay, that sounds like such a polished well, introduction. <laughs> well, <right>. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So guys, stay tuned. Competition. Okay, well, this is the fifth annual I Square competition, um, as I had mentioned when I was introducing myself. Mm -hmm. um, what is the I Square competition? It basically stands for Ideas and Innovation Competition. Basically, participants have to present and develop projects in the form of ideas or mobile applications that can implement new systems or improve existing systems at businesses within the public sector, sorry, within the private sector, mm. or departments within the public service sector. Okay. Okay. So it is basically trying to get young people to think outside the box in that sense? Yes, I would say that. And it's helping that business or department to be more efficient and to be able to uh, improve, well, get cost savings basically. Who can participate in these I Square competition? Well, some Vince Nani Grandies, I have good news for you. <laughs> this year, the NTRC has restructured the I Square competition. Previously, the competition was only open to tertiary school students as well as secondary school students. But this year, listen carefully, we are accepting entries from persons under the age of 35 years old with this competition. So it's not. It is not just yes. about the secondary school students or the tertiary school students. Okay, so people like me, who are under 30. Are you sure you're under 30? <laughs> are you sure? I'm so under 30. Oh my gosh. I am under 30, yes. So that is part of the reason why we um, brought you on to talk. Because I'm sure that you guys go around to the different schools promoting. But now that you are stepping outside of the school in the realm, mm -hmm. Uh, into the public sphere, you know, we just want to bring you on to talk about, you know, what, what, they, what they are the advantage for the public. People like me who might consider entering into the high school competition. So what, 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 why should I enter? Pitch that to me. Pitch it to me or even who might have an idea, because there's idea and there's mobile application. So that's very easy. Just to clarify, there's, there's two categories, yes. the but idea and the mobile application. Mobile application. Um, but I should let you know, um, due to the restructuring of the competition, we basically have two new categories this year. Okay. So one of the categories is called the secondary category. Okay. Um, this consists of um, projects put in into the ideas and mobile applications. So if you're attending a secondary school, you can enter into this category. So you have the option of pre presenting a project in the form of an idea or mobile application. Whereas the second category is called the open category. Okay. So this is where we accept entries now from the public for persons under the age of 35. Um, persons who are attending, well I should say students that are attending the tertiary schools, they will be in this category. Okay. Right? Um, there is good news for the secondary school students. You have the choice of entering in either category that you want. With the same idea and product. It has to be different. Oh, okay. Different okay. idea mm -hmm. and different mobile applications. You can come up with many different projects, but it, as I said, it has to be different. It cannot be the same thing. Okay. okay. Right? So that those are the two categories of the competition. Mm -hmm. And you were asking me why should you enter why the ice square competition? Why should I enter? Well, besides the prestigious <laughs> price of five thousand dollars. Okay. Yes, you heard correctly. Fine. This oh, year, yeah. as I said, due to the restructuring of the competition, mm -hmm. the highest price of the competition was previously three thousand five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Now this has been increased to five thousand dollars. Um, the five thousand dollars price is, however, in the open category of the competition, mm -hmm. right? Um, so why should you enter? Do you want to create a next mobile app, such as a next? Sorry, I should say next successful app, such as WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. 
Well, here's the opportunity. Just come out and showcase the talent by being a part of the NTRC's I Square competition. Um, I should say, well, um, I'm not sure if any of you are watching this, you've heard of Cena Science. Um, he entered the first itinerary of the I Square competition okay. and he has developed his own mobile application called Conservi. Okay. With that app, it allows um, businesses to connect with its customers, and he's been doing great. Um, he's also entered into other regional competition, and he's done a terrific job because he plays within the top three positions of those competitions. That is a follow-up question, and I wanted to ask. <laughs> um, well, I know I know Sinus, um, but the question I wanted to ask is, I know in the past, if you submit an app or idea, it belongs to NGRC. Is that true? Belongs to the NTRC. Well, Mr. John, why did you hear about that? <laughs> <laughs> the guy on rock. So it actually, the students can take it and do what they do want. want it. Okay, um, when you enter the competition, you have to sign the registration form, which is called, and part of that form, it has a copyright protection. Mm -hmm. That gives the participants, um, um, but by signing it, it gives them the option of selling their mobile app or idea or lease it in any way they could. Okay. So pretty and truly copyright belongs to, to them. them. Okay. So right, I know some clarity. Right, but mm -hmm. for the first three years the competition was put into the public service sector. Mm -hmm. So the copyright protection it was um, stated in a way that the students won't charge won't um, charge the government or the department oh, in okay. that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if I enter I could enter my idea, make five thousand dollars, and run with my idea. That is what you're saying. Basically, yes. As as you said, the copyright protection that idea of mobile app belongs to you. Nobody else have, you know, rights to that to that idea or mobile application. So even you should. And the NTRC cannot let's say give that another company yeah. or person okay. that mobile idea or application. Okay. What okay. so what kind of criteria does? the NTRC or the judges look for in these apps and other things? Okay, um, before you create your project or your idea, the NTRC have a database, it's available on our website. Um, that database have all of the entries with all of the, all four competitions to okay. date. So you cannot duplicate any of those entries. Okay. Right? Um, the judges, they look for within your presentation because you have to make a uh, presentation to the panel of judges. Mm -hmm. um, they look for the sustainability of that app and idea. Um, is it financially sustainable? Mm -hmm. um, the benefits that it will bring to society, mm -hmm. etc. Okay. Those are some of the um, criteria that the judges look at. And as I said, you will be questioned. So when you prepare your project in the form of an idea or mobile application, you have to know what your project is all about because you will be questioned with regards to that. Okay. Okay. So how does the project, how does the, the competition go? Is there different stages? What, what is it? Yes, the, oh. the I Square competition has four stages. Four stages. Okay, so the first stage is what we call the launch stage. Okay. Um, of this year we officially launched on September 6, 2017. So that is just signaling, signaling the beginning of the competition and the registration phase. However, registration forms are available now. At the NTRC's office and our website. So you can start downloading your registration forms, start getting your teams together, coming up with your ideas or your mobile app. But to do that, I should mention that you have to visit the business in the private sector or department within the public service sector, conduct your research, and identify whereby that's um, the assistance the improvement. Right? So you just can't, let me just say, come up with an idea or mobile app. For let's say Mr. Movie Strong Business, and yeah. we do not know what are the okay. um, deficiencies in your systems in, in your business, basically. Okay. So, so you have to conduct a research. Two questions there. So you say that you have to come up with a team. How many people in your team? What? Minimum number is two persons per team, and maximum four persons. Okay. okay um, what the secondary category? Mm -hmm. You're only allowed to get team members from your school. We treat the school as a single entity. If the secondary if students from the secondary schools wish to enter the open category, they can select other team members from any other schools, right? Okay. And the second question that I, I want to ask, what if I'm a young person and I don't want to create something for somebody else's business, but I want to create something for a potential business that I have? How do I present that? 
a potential business. Um, so you said that the business is not in existence. It's not in existence. Yeah. Well, I would. I wouldn't say that wouldn't be able to work <laughs> no, no, no. because that business has not been established, and you cannot identify <clears throat> the deficiencies in a system in that within okay. that business. Okay. So the business has to be already been fed. Yes. Oh, well, that clarifies a lot. Yes. Right, because you have to conduct your research. You really can't mm. conduct it on a new business, which you don't know anything about the new right. systems. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So the business has already been in effect and conducting okay. So if, if you're following along, first you have to have a team. So you could enter singly or you have to have minimum work. two. Minimum two. Minimum we want to encourage foster teamwork. Um, within groups, within the high school competition, we don't really want it to be an individual okay. Um, thing. Okay, so it has to be at least two persons, um, has to be an idea that has not been used yet. In Is previous it competition. Or mobile application that has not been used in previous high school competitions. Right. Is it, is it, sorry, I, I would, you were asking. <laughs> no, 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 you go, you go. <laughs> yeah. um, but is it an idea that it, it is non-existent everywhere? Or just in the ice square competition? Well, we, the NTRC only has control over the ice square competition because we only have data collected for that. To tell you that um, it's non existent, never came about in Simpsons and Grenadines, that would not be really possible for us to undertake such you know, strategy uh, investigations <laughs> to look into that. Okay. But if it's a well known, then maybe we can come okay. across okay. it. So you can come and say, this is Facebook. I just created it. No. Okay. So that's why we want persons to view the database to ensure that there's no duplicated entries okay. in the I square competition. I have a question with that duplication. Um, what if your idea or app it could be seen as a duplicate, right? Mm -hmm. uh, in the broader sense, it basically does the same thing, but um, put by itself, it's really much bigger than what it was. Previously put forward in the in other words, you want to build on someone's idea. No, that you're, is not, no you're not building on their idea. Improve it. It's yeah. your idea is much improved than theirs. <laughs> that sounds like it's very similar. So if right. I it's a more thought out and process. It idea. sounds like it's an improvement of the person's previous no, idea. It's, it's your idea. It's, it's <laughs> just, you, get, you get the same goal uh, differently. Okay. I see. But yeah, um, when I review the registration forms mm -hmm. and I noticed that it's this song similar mm -hmm. then I would contact you and you know that you need to come up with a new idea okay. of that application. And it's not a case where if I go to the database and I find something and I say okay I like this but I think I could do something you know better. Is it a case where I could say reach out to the NTRC and get the contact information for the person who worked on it and I reach out to them and plan on them? You want to reach out to someone you already Ew, yeah. submitted mm -hmm. a previous, mm -hmm. but that is like building on what they have. It's not different. You have to come up with something that is different in practice or theory. Okay, right? so it's not possible to revisit. So even no, if, no so even if, right? I entered something and I did a horrible yes, job. Say it, a real horrible, I horrible job. job. No, no oh, when I review your registration, so I'm gonna call you. Like, that is that's true. true. That's hard. Yeah. That's true. That's really hard. So because no, that is that why is... the database is there. You need <laughs> to review it first. See what what you already had work, uh, and next thing you cannot submit it okay. with a okay. um, the competition. And right. it has happened in the past, and I had to call a person to let them know that they need to come up with a new idea and move it all over. So you don't want to do yeah. that. You don't want to go down the wrong road okay. and then start from scratch all again. You so, want to be safe, right? Yes. So we right. really have to prove that you have to be Yes, we have to be to craft something. <laughs> right. um, yeah. I'm not sure if persons are clearly, clearly understood what an idea is on mm -hmm. mobile app. Um, persons in the past have gotten a little confused. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's... Clarify first. Let oh. me try to clarify it as best I could. Um, with, which is right next to us, mm -hmm. right? I can come up with an idea um, whereby there's an app in place so that we can order our different sauces, um, bread, um, whatever the ingredients we want to place on that sandwich. Mm -hmm. um, we could come up with, a, with an idea, right, to create an app. But the actual mobile application category part of it, um, it will only be dealt with the developing the app for that idea. So using that idea to develop the app. Okay. Oh, and I should let you know, these open categories, mm -hmm. that is only dealing with mobile apps only. 
Whereas the secondary category is with both idea and, and mobile okay. apps. Okay. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. So it's basically the two stages, two stages of development. You have the idea, which is separate from the actual development itself. Right. And the with the mobile app is you're not developing the final thing, okay. the final product. I should say. Um, it's really a prototype. Okay. Because you got to present to the judges, show them how it's working, how innovative you are, and so forth. It, it has to be complete. No, and fully functional? No, just a prototype. Prototype, okay. Yeah. Okay. So for the mobile app folks, it doesn't have to be a final um, build, it could be just a prototype that shows the basic functionality. And of course you'll have your slides and your presentations. I've seen people in the past do really nice videos and really make them make their presentation pretty cool. Alright. So when when is the <laughs> actual completion concludes? Okay. Sorry, we didn't yeah. actually go through the other right. phases we're, we're of the stages. competition. So we're at stage so one, right? Stage one was the launch yeah. phase, mm -hmm. right? Um, stage two now is what we call the preliminary judging phase of the competition. Mm -hmm. So this is actually where the competition starts. That's when you eliminate all the very horrible ideas. <laughs> Let's Don't not put it like that. Let's not put it like that. So we've collected all the registration forms. We decide... Um, this is whereby you actually got to present your project now. So after you don't visit the department in the public service sector or mm -hmm. a business within the private sector, you put in together your finance now. Um, usually the finance have to be presented in a form of a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So now you actually get to present what you've um, done your research, research on. Right? Um, you have five minutes to make your presentation to the judges, basically giving them an introduction of the app, how is it going to benefit society? How is it going to be sustainable? And after within that five minutes time frame, um, you have a five minute round of questioning from the judges. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have seven minutes to present mm -hmm. the PowerPoint presentation to the judges mm -hmm. and five minutes round of questioning from the judges. Mm -hmm. So the judges will be asking, Maurice, did you visit this department mm -hmm. within the public service sector? Yeah, I said, yes, I just did. <laughs> <laughs> right, so all those questions you got to be aware of. Um, the judging criteria that the judges use, we don't keep them confidential. They usually disclose to the participants so they could actually see what um, the judges are going to be questioning them on. Right, so if you, properly, um, if you properly present your project and you remember what you did during that research stage, then it should be an issue within the five minutes round of questioning. Right, and the judges might ask, How is um, my, your upper idea different from a, another one that is out there previously? Mm -hmm. Right, so I think with proper research, and you should be okay, okay. you should be okay with proper research. So, after that, still is what stage four? So, after the preliminary judging, that's stage two. Sorry, I think I missed the stage, you know. After the lunch phase, sorry, um, <laughs> we usually had a good tips presentation okay. stage. Okay. With that stage, we um, had put, um, representatives from the Toastmasters organization mm -hmm. coming in and brief the participants on how they should um, deliver proper, mm -hmm. um, insightful presentations to the audience. Okay. Um, we've done it for the first three years, but last year um, we decided to just use the videos that we had previously because we recorded everything okay. with all those presentations and just post them up on our YouTube page, etc. And, and so forth. So the videos are available for persons to view on. If it's the first time that you enter the competition and you don't know what what should I do or how should I do this when you're making your presentation, then those videos are available. And then we have the judging phase now where you have actually have to stand up in front of the judges and the audience to present your project. And we normally select the best teams to go forward to the finals. So the finals is the on um, the last stage of the competition. But we shot on the form of the competition this year. Um, so the finals is going to be taking place on November 15th. Okay. Usually in the past, the, com the competition finals um, took place in January of the following year. Oh. Because we wanted to give persons ample okay. time to prepare. Okay. But since we start promoting the competition very early this year, we're pushing to, you know, to make persons be aware of the competition. We think that they will have sufficient time to put together their projects. Okay. And between the preliminary phase and the finals, there's still a month time frame okay. for you to do your final preparations. All right. 
So, mm -hmm. for the secondary category, if mm -hmm. you want to be a mentor for group in the secondary category, mm -hmm. for the idea, you can win up to $750 to assist okay. that, your team, mm -hmm. but you have to win that category in order okay. to qualify for that prize. Okay. For the mobile application category, mm -hmm. as a mentor, within mentor, you can get $1,000 as well. And we also award the schools that have the most number of entries in the competition. So let's say the girls' high school submitted 10 entries and the other schools didn't submit as much as them. Okay. They will get $1,000 that, was, that goes towards the school. <laughs> <laughs> right? So those are some attractive prizes as well. Okay. Not just for the participants, uh -huh. but for the mentors. So how much is secondary school students win? So the open is 5000 Right, 5000 is the first place position. Mm -hmm. Um, the secondary category, the mobile first place position is three thousand dollars. Okay. And the idea is two thousand dollars. Okay. So those prices the so, same. Um, the okay. idea remains the same, but we we made changes with the mobile application aspect. As you know, the mobile application it takes more work to mm -hmm. do, so we want to award those persons who put in. Okay. Not that we don't want to award the persons in the idea category, right. but it it's a lot of it's more work okay. dealing with the mobile applications. That's true. Right, and you can attest to that. I can, I can. I can. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So you have an option this year. For the previous three years, I'm um, sorry, four years, the first three, mm -hmm. it was in relation to the public service sector. Mm -hmm. And last year it was in relation to the private sector. This year we combine both, so you have the choice of choosing, coming up with a project for any of the sectors, private or public. All right, so, well, you heard it here, folks. It yep. is going to be an awesome high school this year. Um, the people like me, under 35, <laughs> yeah. under 35, yeah. can enter now, um, along with the secondary and tertiary students. Um, the prizes are about it bigger. The open category is what, $5,000? $5,000. The secondary and tertiary is $3,000 for idea. $3,000. Remember, the tertiary school students are entering in the open category. Oh, yeah. okay. Secondary schools or the secondary okay, school okay, students. Okay, okay, okay. And the secondary school students can enter in both, ca both categories. Both of them. Okay. So they have the advantage in this competition, I should say. Okay, and they could enter actually in both at the same time. Right, but it has to be yeah. different ideas, different, 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 different mobile app. Okay. Well, folks, I want to thank you guys and thank our guests here, Keisha Gurley, yes. for coming in from NTRC to visit us and to explain what is the ice boy competition and the winning prizes and everything you need to know. Um, you guys can like our page and for, continue to follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Have a good day. My name again is Evan Wilkins and with my host Maurice John and this is Technoblub. Uh, we'll be providing the links to the NTRC's website uh, where you can go to find more information. Thank you for that. Yes. So, have a good day, everyone. Bye.